is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. Uh -uh. Will you get your butt out? <laughs> Kit Kat, I'm trying to film. I'm trying to film. So for today's video, you guys might want to go ahead and hide your nifflers. Uh, because yeah, we got a lot of gold, y'all. So one thing you guys might not know about me is I was actually an avid, and I do mean avid perfume collector before I had kids. Y'all should see my perfume collection in my closet. It's kind of ridiculous. So when this company reached out to me and I realized that there was Harry Potter perfume out in the world, not gonna lie guys, I was, I was a little shooketh. I was shook it. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing and reviewing Maison Magique, which is a company that sells Harry Potter perfume. And needless to say, guys, I am very excited. Now, just to let you guys know, like I said, this company did reach out to me asking if I would be willing to receive and review their products and share it with you guys on my channel. But as always, all thoughts and opinions are my own. But I'm not going to lie, guys, I am very excited for this video. Again, Harry Potter perfume, yes, 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 yes. But a little bit about the company and this perfume before we jump into all of this. Like I said, the name of this company is Maison Magique. That is so much fun to say. Y'all are probably gonna hear me say that a lot this video, just because I like saying it. Uh, <laughs> and a really cool thing about these perfumes is they are cruelty-free and genderless, which means they were made for all magical beings and muggles as well. They really are for anyone and everyone, which that alone makes these so magical. I really love that this company made these for everyone, no matter your identity. And I know I'm calling these perfumes. They're really not perfumes or cologne. Like I said, they're genderless. They're for everyone. But just for the sake of the video, I will probably continue calling calling them perfume bottles and stuff. But again, it's not really perfume or cologne. They're for anyone and everyone. And another cool thing that this company has done, they have made a perfume, perfume for each individual house. So we have the four different house perfumes, Wisdom, Loyal, Ambition, and Brave. And as you can see, I actually have all four houses to share with you guys, which means we will get to see the different packaging for each house and smell the perfume for each house. So at the end, I will be able to tell you guys which house scent is my favorite. Now, each of these individually are $40, but they also have a sample set of all four perfumes that is $25. That way you can smell each different house and find which one is your favorite. But they also do have bundle sets. So if you wanted to buy all four just like this, that is also available on their website and they do sell candles as well. So definitely go check them out. Everything will be linked in the description down below. But y'all, I'm just so excited to smell these perfumes. Let's go ahead and jump right in. First off, let me just say, I am absolutely in love with these boxes. The packaging of these perfume bottles is just magical. And as you can see, it has the Hogwarts castle on top with Maison Magique. Again, I just love saying that name. <laughs> and this is what we see when we open it. Ah, oh, gold foiling galore. And you guys know how much of a sucker I am for gold foiling. That is stunning. Wow. So this is the card insert that will be in every single one of these boxes that tells us a little bit about the perfume in the box. Illuminate the magic. So we'll get to this in just a second. And it looks like the first perfume bottle we have is for Gryffindor, which is very fitting because I am a proud Gryffindor. So this is what you will see when you open the box. Even the inside is just magical. It has this kind of felt, velvet, and I can't think of the name of it but like it has that really nice material on the inside. And this is what the bottle looks like. So for Gryffindor, it looks like we have the Gryffindor crest on there. We can even see the lion. And I do believe this is glass. 
like a glass bottle. It definitely feels like very good quality, guys. And even the top of the perfume feels like really good quality. So yes, this is what the bottle looks like. Again, guys, I haven't even smelled this perfume yet and I am already in love with just the packaging. This company definitely did not cut corners on packaging. And I think that is what makes this truly magical. So again, this is the cover. And on the back it says, illuminate the magic. And this is what we see on the inside for Gryffindor. In the middle, we have the Gryffindor lion. And right here, we have the sword of Gryffindor. Holy rabies, y'all. That is stunning. And it says, bold, illuminating, and brilliantly courageous, Gryffindor greets you with a brave and chivalrous dose of benevolence, leaving an unforgettable impression. And right here, it looks like we have the website to Maison Magique. And then right here, we have a little more information about the perfume. 1.7 fluid ounces, natural spray, made in the USA. Oh my gosh, you guys, right here, we have Dobby. And a golden snitch. It says cruelty free and it has the ingredients down here. I absolutely love that they put Dobby next to cruelty free. Treat your house elves with some respect, y'all. Oh my gosh, you guys. The packaging. I, I am obsessed. Obsessed. <sighs> but the real question is, how do these perfumes smell? The owner did let me know that you can spray each individual card with the scent. So let's give it a spray. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys. This smells amazing. It honestly smells a little bit more on like the cologne side. It's definitely not like sweet or flowery. It's a very clean, crisp scent. Ooh, oh, oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I love it. You guys, I am not even playing. This smells amazing. So that was the Gryffindor perfume. Not gonna lie, guys, I think it's gonna be a little hard for these other ones to beat Gryffindor. Not only because it really does smell amazing, but because I am a Gryffindor, a very proud Gryffindor. So I will secretly be rooting well, not much of a secret because I am telling you guys, but I'm secretly rooting for Gryffindor to have the best scent out of all of these. We will see. But moving on, let's see which house we got next. And again, guys, it's the same box, same packaging. And when you open it up, again, you see the information card. Stunning. Ooh, it looks like we got the perfume bottle for Slytherin. So the exact same bottle as before, but this one has the Slytherin crest on the front with a snake. Again, guys, just absolutely stunning. Let's take a look at the information card for Slytherin. Illuminate the magic. Oh, I honestly think I like this one more than the Gryffindor one because it has the Slytherin locket on here. Ugh, you guys, I legit cannot get over how stunning the packaging is. I'm probably going to say that a thousand times in this video. Just be prepared. Just magical. This is magical. And my little Harry Potter heart is so happy right now. So yeah, it has the Slytherin locket on there, of course. And we see a snake in the middle. Ambitious and audacious, Slytherin is in a fierce stride to leave an impression fashioning itself into a new, fresh, sharp reality. And again, it has the website up here on top, a little more information about the perfume. And again, right down here, we have Dobby and a golden snitch, cruelty-free with all of the ingredients. Not gonna lie, guys, I kinda wanna frame this. Like, all of these inserts, I might frame them. Like, this is just stunning. I know I've said it a thousand times, but it's stunning. But again, guys, the question is, how does the Slytherin perfume smell? Let's spray. Oh, oh no. Oh no, Gryffindor. Oh no. I think Gryffindor just got beat. I'm so sorry to all of the fellow Gryffindors out there. But yeah, I think Gryffindor just got beat. Oh, this smells so good. I will say they do smell very similar. It has that like sharp, clean, crisp kind of scent. Again, a little more on like the cologne side, not flowery at all, but it does smell a little bit different. 
And I got to be honest, I got to be honest, even though I don't want to be, I definitely think the Slytherin one smells a little bit better than the Gryffindor one. Oh God. Oh buddy. That breaks my heart. No. So yes, sadly, I have to say the Slytherin perfume did beat Gryffindor. They caught the golden snitch. They got 150 points. I mean, don't blame me. That's just how the game was played. But moving on, let's see which house we got next. And again, when we open it up, we have the stunning card insert. Oh, and we have the perfume for Hufflepuff. Again, it's the exact same bottle as before, but this one has the Hufflepuff crest on the front with a badger. That is so cute. And Hufflepuff is actually my second house. I definitely am more of a Hufflepuff in real life. But let's take a look at the card. Again, the back says illuminate the magic. And of course, this one has the Hufflepuff cup on there with a badger in the middle. Inviting and welcoming, Hufflepuff is loyal in its presence and comforts those who acknowledge its rarity. And again, up here we have the website for Maison Magique. A little bit more about the perfume and ingredients down here again with Dobby. Ugh, you guys. I'm legit going to say it every time I hold one of these cards up. Stunning. Magical. Love. I honestly might have turned into a Niffler for this video because I just want to be like gold. I see gold. It's so shiny. <laughs> gold foiling just, it just speaks to me. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yes, yes, yes obsessed. But again, guys, the question is, how does it smell? Let's give Hufflepuff a spray. Hmm. It does smell very similar to the first two, but I will say, I think this one is my least favorite so far. Not saying that it smells bad because it does not. Again, they all do smell very similar, but yeah, I think Slytherin is still on top for me. And last but not least, we have Ravenclaw. Let's open it up. Again, guys, the same packaging with this beautiful card insert on top. And this is what we see when we open it. Again, the exact same bottle as before, but this has the Ravenclaw crest on top with an eagle. Thank God, I was I, I would have said something if it had a raven on there, not gonna lie. I, I would have been that person who was like, why does it have a raven? I'm not even a Ravenclaw, but it bugs the crap out of me when Ravenclaw merchandise does not have the eagle on there. So yes, needless to say, I absolutely love that there is an eagle on the front. But let's take a look at the card, Illuminate the Magic. And of course, we had to have the Diadem of Ravenclaw. Oh, this one and the Slytherin one with the Slytherin locket, hands down, my favorite. This is stunning. And again, an eagle in the middle. Ravishingly ephemeral and refined, Ravenclaw embodies the essence of absolute discovery, non-conforming and deep in its pursuit of where the mind takes you. And again, guys, we have the website on top, a little bit about the perfume, 1.7 fluid ounces. And then again, at the bottom, we have Dobby, cruelty-free and the ingredients. I mean, what else is there to say about this packaging? I literally have no other words in my vocabulary to describe how gorgeous and magical this is. Wow, just wow. But again, the question is, how does the Ravenclaw perfume smell? Let's give it a spray. Ooh, ooh I sprayed three times that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. I hate to say it guys, especially for all of you Slytherin out there, but uh, Ravenclaw just won. They won the Quidditch tournament. Cho Chang, she caught the snitch. They are the winners. This smells amazing. Again guys, they all do smell very similar with just little notes that smell different. Ravenclaw, hands down, is my favorite. This smells phenomenal. Hands down, definitely the best one. Ravenclaw, you are the winner. But guys, that is it. That is all four of the house perfumes from Maison Magique. I have to say, guys, I am absolutely blown away. Not only because we actually have Harry Potter perfume, like where has that been my entire life? But this company actually made this feel so 
magical. Again, not only for the fact that these are all cruelty free, but they are also genderless. So they really are for anyone and everyone, which I really think is so important for the Harry Potter community. So again, guys, I have to say I am very impressed with this company. All four of these smelled absolutely amazing. So if you are a fellow Harry Potter lover, I cannot recommend these enough. And even if you're not a Harry Potter lover, but you know somebody that is, I think these would be an absolutely amazing gift for somebody. I mean, Christmas is not far off, guys. These would be a perfect gift for any Potterhead you know. But again, guys, I would love to know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Are you going to try these perfumes out? Let me know. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And don't forget, you can now join me on Patreon for some exclusive content and giveaways, but I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. <laughs> Kit Kat. Really? Hi. I love you too. Hey, stop messing my chair up. This is why I haven't bought a new chair. You know that? I haven't bought a new one just because of you. Oh my God, wrinkle. Hello, hello wrinkles. God, have, have those wrinkles always been there, Kit Kat? I need Botox. Just be like, huh? You are like a Niffler. That should be your name. Every time I have something shiny up here. Hi. You see the gold? Do you see all that gold? Is that why you want up here? No, you just want love. <sighs> oh my God. I'm gonna have to start brushing you every day. It is ridiculous how much you shed. Yeah, I know I do. I'm gonna have cat hair all over me. I'm such a professional. We're such professionals. Royalty free and gingerless. Gin, gin ginger no gingers were harmed in the making of this perfume <laughs> good job tabby oh well, i got oh, oh. velvet velt felt felt is that felt felt velvet 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 i am so glad i love it i was like please let these perfumes smell good stupid train I'm gonna make me some eggs after this. I want some eggs. 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 Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, if I dropped this. <laughs> Ravishingly infirm, inf infirm, infemoral, and inf what? Ravishingly infemoral, infemoral, and inf what? <laughs> and eph ephemeral ephemeral maybe but again guys all of these perfumes are gingerless ginger oh my god poor gingers i keep <laughs> gingers mm -hmm. i oh i forgot to spray it <laughs>